Good morning, everybody on the Lunkers TV channel. Hope you guys are pretty jacked for today's video. Today, we're gonna be picking up the winner of the truck and fishing trip giveaway. That is right today. That is going to, that is gonna happen. That is gonna go down right now. I, uh, Steven's gonna drive over and pick them up. I'm gonna sit back here. I actually have to go to, uh, I have to go knock some stuff out for the truck to get it transferred over to their name. And uh, while we do that, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and kick off the intro and I'll see you guys over at the, uh, at the, at the airport. Deal? Deal. <laughs> I know it's been a really long time since I've talked uh, to you guys on the channel. Actually, I don't even know what channel this is actually going on, but anywho, I'm here with the uh, the giveaway winners. Say hi, guys. Hey, how are you? We're gonna go have some breakfast and uh, enjoy an awesome day of fishing and just having a good time here in Texas. What's up, man? How you doing? What's going on? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Charles. Hey, nice how are you? How are you? I'm Robert. Taylor. Right. Nice to meet you. Make your life easy. This is all you guys got to fill out from the truck. Right. Actually, you know what? I lied. He's got to do some stuff. Oh. It's easy enough. You guys want to fish today? Yeah. yeah. You do want to fish today? Yeah. Okay. If y'all want to fish. No, I mean, this is up to you. This is your time, not mine. No, you Oh, yeah, this is Flair. You know him? What's going so on? You need to randomly meet Flair. So, if you guys got, have you been filming at all? No, I haven't filmed just, anything. Just a little bit. A little bit, because I've been actually walking around in my picking up rocks and stuff. Anyway, hey, uh, this is uh, the truck winner uh, and the boat winner. No, not the boat winner. You didn't win a boat, by the way. I just <laughs> it went a truck and the fishing trip, and I'm gonna be taking him out. Uh, he brought his lovely wife with him, and uh, well, I'm gonna take him out fishing for the next couple days. Yeah. It's my truck. It's yeah, it's your truck. <laughs> All it's saying is just release of liability on Rob. That's it. Oh, okay. Uh, for like just, yeah, just put your address there. Okay. In the back of the signature. You know this was Demo Ranch's dad's truck, right? Yeah. Okay. But it was red, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look, it says his name right there. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really hot right now. It's so hot. It's like humid, humid. Like humid. I might get one of those shirts today. <laughs> that hot. Hey, how's it going, guys? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just here. It's bad, man. I like it. I'm a die-hard Ford fan. Oh, I love it. Oh, I like the boat. Yeah, oh, it's got, got, the got front a front receiver here. That's cool. I'm excited. Ooh, I'll drive it home. Yeah, that's no, just kidding. <laughs> you got a skid plate, man. This thing's. I like the get the bumper replacement. Those are bad. Oh, I like that because I could step on here to get them. I like the wrap on it too. That's that's a bad one. The truck I got right now wouldn't make it, and it can't pull anything really. And this is perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. And this is awesome. You got like the LED headlight. That's bad. Oh yeah, those are nice. It's headlights. a bad truck. Now uh, I know we talked about it um, in the Lunkers video where we announced it, but. Mm -hmm. You were in the military, yeah, and I don't think we mentioned you, right? Yeah, <laughs> so you guys I was are just a military too. couple. Oh yeah, yeah we, we were stationed at Fort Bliss. Uh, we were both 12 Bravo, so combat engineers. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. Charles was deployed to Afghanistan. Oh, awesome. you deserve yeah. it, man. I'm yeah, it's excited. It's a bad truck. I'm really excited. I, wow, it's a bad like truck, it. man. I saw in the video it's bulletproof and everything. That's a million mile, million mile truck. I got the keys. Actually, I got your keys. Hey. These are your keys right here. I'm gonna let him turn on the structure first stop. Does this one take def or is this pre? Nope. Oh, see, that's even Great. better. Oh, seat covers if you want them. I put everything, everything's in here. Oh yeah, so, man. I, I appreciate it, man. He took out, he, like Steven, that's what he used to do is detail before. So he detailed the entire truck for you. See? We, we really, I will say, remember I said there's one wonky thing. The gas can go. If he gets near a quarter, just go ahead and just fill that son of a gun back up. Okay. We found out the hard way one time. Yeah. Boy, I love it. I'm a diehard Ford fan. I was in, That's good. I've been looking. I always go to the dealerships looking because I need something bigger. So four wheel drive uh, on these ones. It has auto four, but you have to lock. You have to manually lock, lock the hubs. Okay. Uh, I found that out the, <laughs> the embarrassing way as well. Oh. It's that sounds good. It's my turn. Man, both of y'all yeah, took really good care of this truck. I mean, it's clean, man. What's that, man? I, I still get uh, it's your job. Once that red, you don't want it to stay on that red. You'll see it just, just you'll figure it out. You good? You real good? Oh, 
And then I got you, so Dakota Meyer. I had, oh, I had yeah. a couple of canvases that I bought from him, so I'm gonna give you one of those. Oh, badass. Cool, man. Uh, oh, sorry. The key, the, the key, now you're good. The key for this thing, the round key. Awesome. Forgot we upgraded to automatic ones. Yeah, my truck right now got manual locks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's an old F-150. Really? Yeah. And my Jeep's the same. It's it's manual. Everything's manual. That's awesome. This is exactly... I've been looking for something like this, I'm telling you, for a long time. I mean, I love it. You did the bumper replacements, the everything. Yeah, yeah, so when you put the license plate oh, on it... Oh, gotcha. Through. Yeah, no, the bumpers, everything. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's... I mean, it's like... Well, got one scrape right there on the... Dang, Oh, yeah, I don't know. These are... Everything's blacked out. All the lights, all the way down. Awesome. Let's go yeah, fishing. Let's, let's go fishing. It's sweet. Like this side, you know, they don't sell still like semi on it. They've added a couple, huh? When I first came here the first time, they only had this much. That's how it is at the academy back home, man. You got like a half All right, I'm gonna go uh, find clothes because I didn't, I didn't prepare. Are these new ones? Those are trench So I've actually decided to take them to one of my little, little, uh, I would call it my little honey hole. I've, I've fished here maybe a handful of times over the last uh, couple years I've actually been doing this channel. It's one of my favorite places to come fish. It's, it's usually a really good time and I'm hoping there's actually some bedding fish. He said he's never caught a bed fish. So that would be the plan is to get him on a bed fish and for you guys to actually, well, watch us maybe catch some big old bass. Look at that. All right. Look at that carp. Look at the size of that carp right there. Oh, yeah. Look at, you. Look at that thing. Gosh dang. It's a giant carp. <laughs> I'm not a fan of anything like that. So. I got a fish though. And it is getting cold. Hey, it makes you feel better. I do have a fish on it. You're not the first. I got one on a spitter bait. Oh, that's not a bad fish either. Damn. Uno, Uno Moss fish. First fish of the day. No, I, I just said one more, didn't I? Dude, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to be honest with you. I switched over to spinner bait because she caught one on a spinner bait and then it broke off. That's probably not a four pounder. That's three, huh? That's three. That's three. I'm kind of like. It might be coming in. I'm do you think we should probably go to the truck just for I a sec? I feel like it's about to start pouring on us. <laughs> I can feel the air getting like. Look how quick those clouds are moving. Yeah, it's coming. I mean, I can kick on the engine and get us back over to the truck in like a hot second. Yeah, I think I think we should probably. She wants to go back. All right. Hey. That's all you have to say. If you say you want to go back, I'm not going to say anything. I will gladly drive you back. Man. No, yeah. I mean that is like. That's not something I'm going to. That's weird, right? And there's nothing on the radar. No. There wasn't. Check again because I feel rain. I feel like that's what rain is. Yeah, rain. Yeah, it's rain. Aren't you glad you bought shorts? <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing on the radar. Yeah, what do you think? The clouds are like... Is it bothering you? I no, think, I, I mean, think, if I we're on the truck, I think we're fine. Here. Okay, well, just gonna roll with it. It'll be fine. Oh, that wind is a bit, a bit chillier. I'm telling you though, that could that could really make our, our life a lot easier when it comes to catching fish. You're probably gonna want to throw a uh, moving bait, man. Yeah. Yeah. With a wacky rig right now in this wind, that's probably not the most pleasant. Imagine flying from Georgia to come fishing with me and not catch any fish. <laughs> that would suck. I don't know who's doing that. We'll catch him. There we go. There's one. Finally. Finally, finally. It might be up farther out here in this grass, man. Jeez Louise, it's been a grind. You want to throw a spinnerbait? You want to throw this one? Yeah, that works. I want to catch a fish. How in the world did you do that? Well, they're going to be in the comments of... <laughs> like, I don't... Between... Do you how see many this? trees did like, I do you get see this? <laughs> How did you do that? 
<laughs> I really don't. That that's happened like several times though. Like not today, but anytime I fish, that happens a lot. <laughs> She has but a really I, nice fishing rod, too. That's the thing. She bought, like, a really nice pole. I know, but you have three lines coming. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I say it was a defect on the rod. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting into the juice. On a good note, I tried to time it on... Like, actually, it's not a good note. I tried to time the... Uh, spawn with them coming down here for the, some of these places and this place has not even started there's no fry there's no nothing i think they're in that weird transitional period so we're going to chalk up today as a kind of a loss not not that big of a deal you know why because i'm going to go back and i'm going to show him he asked me some questions it's kind of good to take advantage of it i guess he says he doesn't have anybody at his house that can show him how to do certain things like flip correctly and or what, what did he say action of rods he wants to look through all my setups, which is kind of cool. I guess I'd probably do the same thing. Because I know tomorrow the place I'm going to be taking him is like flipper's heaven. That's all it is. It's probably we're going to be flipping a ton. And he doesn't really know how to flip. So I'll probably have to get him on the bed of the truck and start the rolling of the wrist action. Maybe I'll show some. You think I should show some of them at home as well? Yeah. Because I mean, I don't do that kind of stuff a ton on, on camera. So I probably should. Yeah. Anyway, this time of the year, it can either be phenomenal or it can be a bust. It's a spawn. So Actually, they're not spawning here. I don't think we're gonna be able to put the boat inside the garage tonight. I had uh, I had to add two extra pieces of uh, concrete onto this little thing right here. As you guys can see, every time, every time I would pull off, I would I was just driving into my grass, which which isn't a good thing, which is not a good thing at all. Okay, so if you guys don't know this, uh, on the on the Real America channel, Sarah did paint me an S on my wall, which is great. And she also did it with. With that. Remember I bought that thing in the back of a car? Hey, yo. It's all tackle. <laughs> oh, here you get a reel too. Sorry, that's that's the last off. All right, you want to bring it back over there? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'd probably just pull forward back in and go down. Guess I'll walk again. Well, this portion, I'm actually going to do a uh, little, I, I, I don't do a lot of teaching stuff on this channel. I just never really, I don't know, I just have never done that very much. Never really got into it, I guess. But I'm going to actually show him some stuff. He said he doesn't have anybody to actually learn from and to ask questions about, so he's actually going to right now. And I'm gonna, we're gonna, we'll, we'll film some of it. I don't really exactly know what's gonna make the cut or not, but I will answer as many questions that he has that maybe some of you guys have wanted to ask and never got a chance to ask. I know he was talking about, uh, like I just gave him 14 rods, so he doesn't really know exactly what those action rods are going to be used for. So I'm actually gonna show him some stuff, show him the proper way to flip while we still have some, some light, and then I'll take him to dinner, and then tomorrow could be the hammer down, hammer time, hopefully. Uh, today I just wanted to get him on, see? He finds these little metal pieces. They poured co crushed concrete right here. Anyway, I'm like a squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, you said it. Uh, what was I gonna say to you guys? Oh, uh, tomorrow, so I, we stopped by a, uh, a lake on the way back to see if any of the fishermen had been doing well and nobody on that lake had been doing well either. And the water temps were 60 to 63 or so. Water was stained and nobody thought that they had even started moving up. <sighs> well, there, so. I tried to hit it on the head. I tried to hit it on the head, but mother nature can be the son of a gun at times but I will at least give him that big, beautiful truck that's about to come up. I cannot believe, I still can't, just look at that thing. Look how beautiful it looks. Yeah. Just look at it. Oh, I didn't even realize it. I in the video. I found, a, I found another boo-boo mark after I made the video right here. I must have hit a tree branch or something. That didn't, that didn't bother me at all. So, I had to be honest, I, for, I, I saw it and I forgot to that, say something. That's fine with yeah. me, that doesn't bother me at all. Okay, so those rods I gave you, did you want to go, did you want to look at them or do you want to look at these? Uh, I can, I can run those or if it's faster we can just... We can do these if you want. I don't really, I don't even remember exactly which ones I gave you. There's a whole bunch of I different didn't look ones. At them. I, it's a I bunch. saw one was in one the, in the box. That one still. in the box is a four hundred dollar rod. Jesus oh, Christ! Damn. <laughs> you know? Thank you. That's a four hundred. It's so light though. It's like a super light rod. Awesome. So it's like, it's a super crappie dangler is what is Jesus, what Rackley man. calls it. It's like a six six medium light I think. 
It's it weighs like an ounce. Anyway. Dude, I want you to know how to tie a snell knot. Dude, a snell knot is like the knot. I've never. I've you heard you. Snell knot. You want to see how to tie a snell knot? Yeah. Dude, a snell knot's like. What's that? What's that? Used for. Uh, flipping. Like I'll tie. I'll fly. Oops. I'm actually gonna tie one of those rigs up right now. Daddy. Hey, Avery. Daddy. Yes, Avery. Daddy. What are you doing? I'm telling you. It took me a minute to figure that one out. Like this. Yes, Avery. So when you, I'm right here, Avery. So when you pull it through, this will make it easier for you to remember. So if you're looking at it, put your line on the where it round, like turns like that, and then like see like. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Day day. Did you have a good day? Look at all your tattoos. And you got so many. Day. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna take them over to dinner. I want to say right now, I'm very, uh, I'm very sorry if this video was not like super, super, super jacked. Uh, mainly because uh, we couldn't find any fish, and that was what we were supposed to do. And I feel kind of bad that I flew him out here from Georgia, him and his wife. And uh, well, they're great people. They're great people. I'm so glad. Uh, they're very deserving people. They're actually both military veterans. I did not know that she was actually in as well. I did not know that. I thought he was just in. Made a bad assumption, but hey, guess what? They're both in. Very, very kind, deserving people, and I'm so glad that they actually. Well, feel good. Feels feels really good. But tomorrow could be the day. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed and stuck through this video as we tried to find some some fish for them but it didn't really I, I love you guys and thanks for hanging out you guys know the deal click down there there's a hey click the one right below to head away subscribe right down there do two and please i love every single one thanks for hanging out